Yeah, I mean, my, my thoughts are Carson Osovar won this race. He dominated. He's so fast. He's such a, a goofy kid, but he's so good at 19 years old and future star in the sport, probably coming for my job or, or somebody else. And so it's amazing to me that he's 10 years younger than me and he's doing things that I'm learning from him. So um, just hats off to him and Phil Gould and that 42 group. Um, the best part about this, though, is that Nice Motorsports probably for the first time um, ever, I, think I could probably count two or three other times where we had two real chances to win, two trucks that things go right could win. There was a few times a few years ago uh, where I thought a couple, you know, one of my other teammates could win. So um, I'm just happy to pick up the smashed watermelon pieces after, um, you know, Carson could win. Um, I'm happy and so proud to, uh, to pick it up and run with it and, and win with Worldwide Express, their first win in NASCAR. They are the shipping company that, the best shipping company that nobody knows about yet. And um, you're gonna see them spread out throughout the sport and um, they're supporting me and other drivers and other teams and you're gonna continue to see them and continue to hear about them. Uh, a lot of fans who might watch on TV, you know, they may assume, you know, a couple drivers coming down to like the Xfinity or Camping World Series may have an easier time out there. Just how challenging is it to race against these guys even despite being at the in the top series of the sport? <laughs> so challenging. I mean, I ran seven that whole stage three and, and it, it passed the group in front of me and um, a really, you know, Cody Fall making a, a short pit call to, to pit early. We we have our number one pit crew from the from track house. So the same guys will pit me on Sunday or pitting me here. Like awesome pit stop. All the times over the years I've been able to come on and off pit road, I feel like I did a pretty good job. Like that's the difference maker that I probably have more experience at, but lap time and racecraft. Like these guys were taking my hair away. They were getting me on restarts. I was getting put bottom of three, middle of three, top. Of, like they were blowing my doors off. I felt like a rookie, honestly, a lot of times. And then um, once we jumped them on the pit cycle under green, we were in third. I lost it to John Hunter. Again, I couldn't pass a lap truck. Like the guy's out here, he's going a lap down, and I can't, I'm running third, and I can't pass him. And John Hunter blows by both of us. So um, there's still a lot for me to clean up, especially if I want to go race competitively on Sunday. So learn from this. Um, Cars and trucks drive a lot different, but I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I had enough upper hand other than the fact that I've been doing it for 11 years now. That's you just you just can't buy experience, and that's why I race as much as I can. This more valuable because you have a good feeling for the rest of the weekend, or because you got to kind of race on the resin and see what it would do. Yeah, race, race on the track, do a green flag pit stop. Um, Great, yeah, run the run the spray, run the very top, uh, move around, try the bottom, try the, the bottom on restart. So the, the new cup cars are quite a bit different than the trucks, but just making those making those muscle memory, uh, you know, the movement sharper. Um, it, it's all just 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 racing helps no matter what, and especially on the same track, I'll race a wheelbarrow. And uh, you, you mentioned Carson, and he obviously was a little down on himself. He felt like he made a mistake. Priest was pretty down on Hosovar, feeling that um, maybe he didn't drive with as much respect as he should. I'm just curious kind of how you saw the, those last few laps. And also, you know, when you're racing in the trucks, what are kind of the expectations? I mean, do you, is, there, is there an expectation that guys who are young are going to be making mistakes? If you want to talk about mistakes, I think it was lap one or lap two. I made a mistake in the turn one, and I drove in way too deep and bounced up into Carson and hit him on like the first lap. So, if you want to talk about mistakes? I'm I was the first one of the entire field probably to do that. So, yeah, um, yeah, it's, it's there's no way around it, right? Carson, he did. He made a mistake, but that's part of learning. And if I would have given him a shove in the turn one on the second to last restart. He would have won the race, and then the priest would have never even been close. I messed up. Um, I let him down, so that put him in a really bad spot with priest tight on his door. And priest knew what he was doing, and I mean, you know what's going to happen whenever you're um, when you're racing for the win like this. It's I can't believe John Hunter and and the '98. I think that we all made it on the final lap. So um, yeah, mistakes were made by all of us. Priest isn't immune to that, but I, I understand where priest is coming from. I, I'd be the same way if I was in his shoes.